Hey guys and welcome to Ludscape, one of the less appreciated levels in Tomb Raider 3, I think, because it tends to get the most criticisms and I think the underwater section is why it's disliked. Here you've got two pathways, make sure you use this one. This one contains a secret and has a glitchless shortcut which enables you to go straight to the UPV. You will lose a bit of health there, don't worry about that. Very important, press this button so that when you do the UPV glitch, you can go up here and get one of the secrets. And go up here beforehand as well, so that you can get a large medipack. Not vital, but every little helps. And then we can get the first secret. Go far to this side, use a flare, go down, shimmy across and get yourself the first secret. If you do the level the normal way, you encounter loads of gunmen and it just makes a no-kills run very difficult because you're going to lose loads of health. But if you do it this way, you get the secrets, which is vital, or mandatory. And, yeah, you skip out the horrible bit, you can get straight to the UPV, do the UPV glitch, get the secrets with the UPV, and then complete the level. Then you go back up here to get back to where you were. This shortcut is a little tricky, but I'll try my best to show you how it's done. And I misjumped. That was a bad mistake. Yeah, when you do the UPV glitch, I don't know what the buttons are on the PC, but here on the PS, the PlayStation, it is square to it like accelerate, and it's circle to, you know, dismount to get a get off, whatever. That's better. Um, to do the UPV glitch, you have to be moving, so hold your button on the move button, whichever it is on your console, then press the dismount button, but there, and hold it down for about half a second, and then start to press the accelerate button again, and then you should perform the glitch. Okay, now this is quite a difficult shortcut. Be sure to save. I made it on my first go, but that was lucky. This area is dark, I apologise, but even with a flare, there's not much I can do about it. But obviously, I'll have flares out because I want it to be as seeable as possible for you. Through here is another secret. There's the eagle ammo, make sure you collect that. And then there's another bit as well. Even I am struggling to see. Oh, I found it. Get some there. Yeah, the UPV glitch. Press the accelerate button, the move button, probably square on the PS. Press the button to get off. Hold it down for about half a second then press the button to go, hold that down, and you should do it. And very important, when you do the UPV glitch, um, make sure you're going downwards as you do it. It will make controlling the UPV much easier. If you're going in a straight line and you do the glitch, you can barely control the thing. You can go sideways, but it's very hard to go up or down. If you, however, if you, however take my advice, and when you and, you know, do the glitch while we're going downwards, it just makes it much easier to control when, you, when you're when you doing the glitch. And the glitch, of course, is that the air bar freezes 
and you can take it out of water and use it in the air. Yeah, because when I um, when I dis when I did the glitch um, the first time, I was just going in a straight line and I couldn't control it. I couldn't get up or down, and in a cramped place, it was very tricky. But when I did the glitch while going downwards, I just found the controlling much easier. Yeah, just loot this area for items. Go up here. Do not go left, otherwise you'll trigger a gunman, then you'll trigger a diver, and the secret with the UPV may get sealed off. But obviously go here for the crystal and the flares. Yeah, the UPV itself is actually a secret as well. And if you're doing the level the normal way, in order to get it, you would have to sprint down there and land in the water and then kill the diver and the gunman. But we don't have that opportunity. But by doing the level how we've done it, um, it's reachable anyway. There are harpoons around here, as well as the harpoon gun, but it's not going to help me, so I'm just skipping that and just getting the stuff that matters to me. Right, now we're done collecting items, and now I can do the UPV glitch. Now, I'm not liking the look of my health bar. Yeah, collecting medipacks is very important because the Antarctica level and Lost City of Tinnus are both very difficult and I need as many medipacks as possible for when I get to them. Ah, look at the diver. So inactive. It's just... When I did the Antarctica level for the regular no-kills run, I... Um, ended up using six medipacks, and when you think about it, six medipacks, that's 12 small medipacks, that's virtually all my small medipacks eaten, so you need to collect as many as possible. And now it's time for the glitch. First things first, get air, then go down, do the glitch, I believe I've done it, I have, yeah, and the controlling is nice and easy. Go back the way you came, so look out for the razor wire up here. Now remember when you push the button? Well, in pushing that, we are able to go back up here and collect a secret, which is up here. Just through here. Rocket launcher, I can't get it. Do not at any point get off the UPV, otherwise you will completely screw yourself over and you will just mess up because you won't be able to get back on it and you will just screw yourself over. So do not get off the UPV at any point. Safe Game Crystal was not a secret, but I collected it nonetheless. Now we go back, not that way. And now we go... Ah, down here. Go down here, go up. This leads to... Um, where does it lead to? This area. Uh, 
and then we go through here for the other secrets. You will lose health from the gunmen, but there's nothing you can do about that. But considering the amount of medipacks that you would have collected, you know, you're going to be making a profit. I love this glitch. This glitch is my favourite glitch in any game, in, no, in any um, level, in any Tomb Raider game. I know you can only use it for this one level, so I know it's probably not as important as most other glitches, but I just love this glitch because it just makes this level just so much easier. And the underwater section is a very um, disliked bit, and it makes it much easier. Right, is that every secret? It is. But right, now we just go back to where we were and just finish the level. So now it's time for the underwater bit. And make sure you're still doing the glitch because it's freezed the air meter. And so it's going to make the underwater bit much easier. Um, I mean, when you get off the UPV in order to pull um, those lever things, you will your air bar will start to go down but not as much um, and you should be able to do it without the fear of running out of air if your air bar does get low just go back and just get air and just do that but to be honest I think your biggest fear should be your health bar itself because of how the crocodiles and divers can do damage You can fire harpoons, but when you're doing a no-kills run, obviously you don't want to do that. And I've got no harpoons anyway, because I've not been picking them up. Hi, Diver. How are you? Oh. Bit rude. Hey, underwater bit. Save. You might struggle with this section. Um, if you do, don't worry about it. We've, we've all had the same problems. Just keep practicing. Uh, eventually, you'll figure out what what order, you, like where you need to go, what order the switches need to be pulled in, and it'll get easier. One of those practice makes perfect things. The first switch is downstairs, and by downstairs, I mean it's at a lower level. I had a nightmare at first. I slowly figured out where I needed to go, you know, what switches needed to be pulled, the order, etc, etc. And it's still a bit of a pain, but now I know. Every time you get back on, make sure you do the UPV glitch. And I've gone the wrong way, so as you can see, even now, I still don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Aha. That's red. Air meter frozen. And we're going the wrong way. I saw that, that it was red, so um, this one's red. Is it this one? Yes. Hey, a safe game crystal. Pull the switch, you stupid woman. I'm not sure where that is completely, but I'll find out. Hey, 
think it might be here actually. And it is. You can now just complete the level, but I'm not going to do that immediately. I'm going to get to the top, or thereabouts, then I'm actually going to get off, get a flare out for your benefit, and get myself a large medipack. City will be the level up next. That level should be nice and fun. Relatively short and easy, I should imagine, but without doing practice, I can't be sure, and I've not done practice. And I've just found a really basic jump. And I've just fouled again. Uzi ammo I couldn't care less about, don't have Uzis and probably won't. And now to complete the level. Where's my UPV? Go through here. Go up through this gap and complete the level. Six of six secrets, two health packs, zero kills. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and see you in city.